know about you guys but these kind of trailers even if you don't really like the genre these kind of trailers always gets me intrigued and excited for what's to come out of these kind of games it looks and sounds badass with the music and the dark fantasy atmosphere is all over the place natural lab the fallen world is one of those games and it's a brand new story driven action adventure rpg project that is of course inspired by dark souls but also plans to have its own unique twist with other inspiration with hp lovecraft and planescape torment which could make for a great and different experience. Elden Ring took the world by storm thanks to From Software's massive talent and passion for their own created genre. It's one of the best game of the year and so it will be hard to top this game. But that doesn't mean others can actually create a game inspired from it or inspired by games similar to this one. If people want a new game from this genre, which from the likes and view counts they do, well then just go for it and make your own experience. This Dark Souls like genre can offer so many new experiences and there's a demand for it and natural laugh looks like the kind of game that will offer some surprises so let's just get into it natural laugh the fallen world is a story rich third person dark fantasy action adventure game with different rpg elements focusing on a compelling branching narrative and exploration through a rich strong sense of atmosphere and world inspired by titles such as planescape torment and dark souls as well as the twisted works of many artists and of course hp lovecraft the game is the developer's love letter to the occult realms of dark fantasy so no it won't be a dark souls clone in fact they are a lot more inspired by the game planescape for nasrallah the game will feature a ton of exploration in dark but beautiful locations, a ton of dialogues and story to get into, and combat of course. But the combat is not 100% the main focus of this game, it is more about getting to know where you're at and the occult. Hence when you'll be getting into combat it'll feel really good and special because you won't be doing this every minute or so. Here's what one of the developers of this game told me, something that we'd love to get across is that the game isn't really anything close to a souls like, which seems to be the initial reaction. Perhaps understandably as we did cite Dark Souls as an inspiration, but it is an inspiration tonally rather than gameplay wise. It's essentially Planescape Torment but in third person. A lot of exploration, darkness and dialogue and combat won't be a huge focus but it will be present of course. Players will explore a surreal world broken up in explorable hubs, so different biomes for example which will all have something different to it, connected via a world map which is a bit similar to Mount and Blade for example if you've played this one. So that's something we wanted to clear up, says the developer. He also gave me a couple of environmental shots to show a bit more of the places that you'll be exploring and it is looking pretty good. Orpheal is the main protagonist of Nazrolaf, a fallen knight hailing from a seemingly distant land. His past is but a faint memory, hinted only through the faded adornments on his dented armor. He awakens in a cold, decrepit tomb in the bowels of the Durfell Temple, with wounds that will have slain him five times over. Hunting dreams follows his thoughts, and his fragmented memory proves merciful enough for him to recollect his name, if little else. Nazrolaf is the child of all the developer's skills, knowledge and inspiration. It's an experience woven from the mechanics of their favorite games growing up, the text of their favorite authors, thematics and narrative styles, and the brushstrokes of their favorite painters and digital artists. They consider it a unique and fresh take on the RPG genre and a reincarnation of classic game design values which seem to have been lost in time. For more on this game and games similar to this one, make sure you support this video and subscribe.